<clears throat> I was good y'all buzz man hey I'm about to give y'all one oh I'm gonna show y'all some simple techniques you can use to really enhance your bars or your rhymes all that you feel me so we finna go ahead and get into it you know we ain't wasting no time hey let's get it all right so these are the first few bars I'm about to go ahead and break down for y'all hold on listen real quick Got that PowerPoint, I'm on it, you feel me? All right, so first thing I said, better be what you preach or you get left lonely. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, you feel me? Till I break it down, though. Then I say, in the street, in the seat with a Glock right on me. And a girl in my DM, I think she want me. You feel me? Now, I know a lot of y'all know the simple rhyme patterns where it's like, okay, you just rhyming the end, like the N word. So left lonely, right on me, she want me. Or just want me, on me, and lonely. You feel me? All that rhyme, but I'm going to show you how you can enhance this. And I already did it. You feel me? So we're just going to label these. We're going to label these three in the ending words. We're just going to label them two real quick, right? But then you see B and preach in this first line. You feel me? B and preach. You feel me? Those rhymes. So it, it helps enhance the flow. Better be what you preach or you get left lonely. Because I got rhymes inside of a bar. And then when it goes to the next line... It just it just makes it seem like way better. Cause now look in the next line, I got them saying we're gonna label the B and preach like that. B preach. Anywhere that rhyme with that, we, we labeling it as one for right now, right? So then you go to the next line. When you rhyme it again at the same part, it just make the flow sound way much better, you feel me? So in this one I did street and seat. All these rhyme, B preach, B preach, street, seat. You feel me? And then the end of words still rhyme. So just look at the flow, it's like but uh, 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 oh, you get the uh, 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 uh. man, that motherfucker hard. You feel me? Instead of just having anything right here and having these words match, you can get complex with it and have rhyming words within the bar. You feel me? So now, when you look at this last line, I didn't put no, I didn't have no rhyme in. You feel me? I just said, and a girl in my DM, I think she want me. The ending words still rhyme. You feel me? But what if I would have did this? What if I would have crossed that out? And put I'm a beast, fuck defeat, and that's why she want me. Feel me? Now I got them two ones. I got them ones rhyming again, and then I still got the ending word rhyming. So now look, one, 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 one. B pre street C beast defeat all rhyme. You feel me? So now, so now when you hear, it, imagine if I would have had it like this. Better be with your preacher. You get left alone in the street in the seat with a Glock. In, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm fucking up. Better be with your preacher. You get left alone in the street in the seat with a Glock right on. I'm a beast for defeat, and that's why she want me. You see me? That it's just that flow. Like the flow just got enhanced with that jump. You feel me? I'm gonna give y'all another type of example, but this is one of the like the rhyme rhyme patterns you can do. You feel me? That little one one two one one two method. Uh, I wasn't even gonna call it that, but now I'm calling it that. The one one two method. That's what we gonna call this one. You feel me? So now let's go to the next one. Hold on, let me play the song first. I bet. So y'all heard that? I said I practice what I preach. I ain't really with all that little yapping shit. You feel me? Then I say, got tactics when I teach. This ain't no class. You going to practice, bit? You feel me? So this one, it got like three. It got three different words we gonna rhyme with. You feel me? So, you know, of course, you got the N word that a lot of people, everybody use. That's like somebody freestyling. It's just like, it's, it's just the normal shit everybody uses. It's like hopping the car and I'm ready to spaz, going so fat, bit I look like the flash. See, it's just the, it's just the ending word is rhyme. But this is how you enhance it, you feel me? So you say I got a little yapping shit rhyme or yapping shit rhyme with practice bit, you feel me? But what if I want to enhance this, you feel me? Or how could I enhance it? Or how is it already enhanced? Because it's already enhanced. You see, I got practice and preach. You feel me? So now it's it's not one one no more. It's one two three with it. You feel me? So now in the in the second um in the second line, I practice what I preach. Or we just gonna we just gonna look at practice. I practice. So what can go with I practice? Got tactics. You feel me? Like the more let me t let me tell y'all something real quick. The more like the second line go with the first line, it's gonna match the flow. Like the more rhymes you got within it, the more it's gonna help the flow sound better. You feel me? So practice tactics, preach and teach. Yapping shit and practice bit, you feel me? And this was only three different rounds, you feel me? So I say, I practice what I preach. I ain't really with all that little yapping shit. Got tactics when I teach. This ain't no class. You going to practice bit, you feel me? It just enhanced the rhyme. Like, it make it rhyme way better, you feel me? Essentially, all you're doing is, like, breaking it in half. Like, it may look, like, real complex. Like, damn, how I'm going to think of the whole shit? All I did 
you just you literally just chop it down. So I practice what I preach, and it's really a comma. I ain't really without that little yapping shit. So when you break it down, it's literally way easier. You got tactics when I teach. Cause now you're just doing it one line at a time instead of trying to do one big space at once. You feel me? So now just say I want to add a third line. What rhyme with practice and tactics? Magic. You feel me? What rhyme with teach? Seat. You feel me? That's the two. Seat. Now what rhyme with what can I what other word can I set the end that rhyme with practice bit? Aladdin. Bit. <laughs> so now you just fill in the blanks. It's magic on the seat. I can't sit down on fly a Latin bit. So I really could say, I practice what I preach. I ain't really what I that little yapping shit got tactics when I teach. Just ain't no class. You going to practice bit. It's magic on the seat. I can't sit down on fly a Latin bit. <laughs> you feel me? So it just enhanced the flow. So I just showed y'all the one one. What was it? The one one two method? Just the one two three method. The methods ain't over though. We got some more methods. You feel me? All right, now I'm about to show y'all the third type of rhyme pattern you could do. You feel me? Alright, bet. So let's get into it. I said stress and stress. Let me sing. Let me say how I was singing it. Stressing, it don't do not a thing. Possessing, like a whole lot of rings. Refreshing when you cut off the strings. You feel me? So hey, you know, of course you got the ending words that rhyme, all the twos, but then you got all the ones. So this is just the one-two method. This is this is just a simpler version of the one-one-two method, if that made sense. You feel me? So when you got the first words all rhyming. It's really enhances the flow. Cause I could have said stressing, it don't I could have said stressing, it don't do not a thing. Mm -mm, like a whole lot of wind. And it could have just said something random. But nah, cause look, the stressing part got its own delivery. And then the ending words got their own delivery. You feel me? So when you sing it, stressing, it don't do not a thing. Possessing like a whole lot of wings, refreshing when you cut off the strings. You feel me? You can keep that same delivery on them on them one words. And then on them two words to create his own little natural flow and rhythm with it. You feel me? I hope it makes sense. And then at the and then at the end of it, and this is a little different one. I could have put like a one one two, but this is just like a. You probably know this if you if you ever watch like poetry or read some poetry. I said of the things that you're attached to, that's the one. But now when you go to the second line, you don't rhyme it. But when you go back to the third line, you rhyme it, and then you rhyme the second line with the fourth line. If that makes sense. So it's other things that you attach to cause it ain't even worth it. Now you suffering cause you can't let go. Now you don't know you perfect. You feel me? Perfect and worth it. Rhyme. Go and two. Wait. Let go. Attach to. Attach to and let go. It sound good. I ain't gonna lie. I just kind of realized it don't rhyme. But it sound good. You feel me? That shit sound good. So yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You feel me? So if you just, whatever you just learned in this vid, when you go apply it, now you gonna start seeing it like, bro, you can go listen to your favorite rappers, bro. You gonna start realizing like, oh shit, they've been doing these the whole time. You feel me? And that's why you probably enjoy certain rappers flows and all that, you feel me? Now there's even more complex flows, but I kind of just kept it simple. It's really for beginners if you really don't know, but yeah, if you just start making music and you implement this, bro, you can be at another level. Cause I didn't even realize this until like a year after I start recording. So imagine if I knew this, when I first start making music, oh, nigga, I would've been at a different level. <laughs> Niggas would've not been fuck with me back then, you feel me? So yeah, uh, try to implement some of these. You don't gotta go too, you don't have to deal with every bar, but just try it out for like the hook, especially the hook. Like the hook, cause these are flows, you feel me? And on the hook, I'll probably make a video on it, but on the hook or the chorus, that's where people are gonna remember your song the most. They are gonna remember the hook, cause you bring it back two, three times, you feel me? So when you have a catchy flow, like one of these on the hook, it's gonna be like, yeah, they gonna remember that song and then they're gonna start bopping to it because the flow is catchy, the lyrics is good, and then they're just gonna start, uh. you feel me? Hey, we gone. I hope you learned something from this video, you feel me? We gone. Bitch.